Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Friday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and wonderful lesson for today. God's leadership of, his, of Israel. God's leadership of Israel. Coming from 2 Chronicles, the 13th chapter, the 10th verse through the 12th verse. Short lesson this morning. But before we get started, I want to remind each of you that uh, starting December the 1st, we will decrease the number of lessons we have throughout the week, but it will be all of the list lessons that are listed as related scriptures. So if it's all of them, then we will do them. If not, we will decrease it to whatever number there is. Amen. We're going to get ready to move straight on into the lesson, but first want to ask if anything you see it touches your heart, soul, or spirit. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible, if you would. Also, if you would subscribe, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready and move into our lesson, but let's have prayer first. Amen. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for lifting us up, watching over us, guiding us, and strength. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for being with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father. We thank you that you watched over us all this week. We thank you, Father, for watching over us all night long and waking us up early this morning with a finger of love, with your grace and mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Lord, <clears throat> we thank you, Father, that our eyes is open that we see, and our ears is open that we hear, and we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, as we stated, our lesson, God's leadership of Israel, come from 2 Chronicles 13, chapter, the 10th verse two through the 12th. And the scripture lesson text read, but as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. And the priests who minister to the Lord are the sons of Aaron, and the Levites attend to their duties. And they burn to the Lord every morning and every evening, burnt sacrifices and sweet incense. They also set the showbread in order on the pure gold table and the lampstand of gold with its lamps to burn every evening. For we keep the command of the Lord our God, but you have forsaken him. Now look, God himself is with us as our head and his priest with surrounding trumpets to, to sound the alarm against you, O children of Israel. Do not fight against the Lord God of your fathers, for you shall not prosper. Amen. This is a powerful lesson. As we look at this lesson, it, remind, it, 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 it is talking about uh, the Israelites, is, I believe, going against the uh, Jeroboam and, and the uh, and Judah. Uh, but the thing is, uh, the Israelite uh, group has uh, strayed away from God, and and and, and Judah is uh, saying that we have not strayed. We are still burning incense. We are still doing what we were ordered to do by the Lord. So you have to be careful. Even though Israel had a large, large army, if we you if you read the the. The continuance of this chapter, you would find out that they did not and was not able to be successful in the battle, no matter how many they had. Amen. As we see in this speech before the battle, Abijah reminded Jeroboam that God had given the kingdom to David and his posterity. Jeroboam had rebelled against the Davidic dynasty and had mustered a band of worthless rogues against Rehoboam. When the latter was virtually defenseless. Israel hoped to win the victory because of its superior numbers and the golden calves. Israel has set up a counterfeit priesthood which men could enter without divine authorization. Judah, by contrast, clung to the Levitical priesthood, which was still serving the Lord in the prescribed manner. God was the captain of Judah's army, and his priests used their trumpets to sound the alarm against Israel. It was folly, therefore, for the northern tribe to fight against the Lord God. 
Amen, amen. You know, that's a powerful statement. That's a wonderful verse, wonderful passage. Amen. We go, uh, well, I pray that you meditate on this wonderful lesson. And we want to make sure that we don't catch ourselves or let ourselves get caught fighting against God. And as we are talking about throughout this week, we don't let want to let ourselves get caught um, going against God's servants. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson. Also, don't forget... Uh, uh, that we are changing from the uh, seven days a week to uh, only the related scriptures and Sunday school lesson uh, starting December the 1st. And also, if you would, uh, check out the uh, uh, Union Gospel Press uh, down below under the, uh, and if you would, if you're interested, uh, order a, a Sunday school book or one of the commentaries, I'd appreciate it. I pray that you all have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you.